It is the year 1820. The German naturalist Johann Baptist Ritter von Spix explored the Amazon region together with an expedition team. Spix brought more than 350 different animals back to Munich from his trip. Among them was a beautiful blue macaw, now called the Spix macaw. 180 years after the death of Johann Ritter von Spix, the blue macaw that bears his name has become extinct in the wild. Poachers have killed the rare animals or caught them for trading. Deforestation in Brazil has destroyed the habitat and food sources of the Spix macaw. The population gradually declined until ultimately the last bird of the Caatinga disappeared. Around 10,000 kilometers from Brazil, biologists, veterinarians and animal care specialists in a breeding station in Schoeneicher, Germany, are fighting to preserve this threatened parrot species. The breeding of the rare Spix macaw is among their most important projects. This conservation work is enabled and financed by the renowned organization ACTP, which has astonished not only experts, but many in the international community through its breeding program. Since its founding in 2006, the ACTP has grown from a small passion project into a species conservation organization that operates on a global scale. The critically endangered Spix macaw is especially in need of urgent help. Today, there are only around 100 specimens left in the world and all of them live in two privately operated and one state-operated breeding station. If the ACTP and its partners managed to reintroduce this bird to the wild, it would be a last-second rescue. A lengthy and ambitious project because of the breeding of Spix macaws is particularly difficult. Side by side with conservationists in Brazil and Qatar, the ACTP is now fighting to ensure the existence of the Spix macaw. In 2008, the ACTP announced a groundbreaking success. For the first time, it succeeded in the breeding of a Spix macaw. By 2015, 11 of the parrots had been bred in Schoeneicher, Germany. The great hope of the ACTP is that one day the Spix macaw will be able to live in the wild again. This is why the ACTP regularly sends the bred offspring to their original homeland of Brazil. Two years ago, a pair of birds was transferred to the state breeding program there. And in the spring of 2015, another two birds went on a long journey to Brazil. Their names, Carla and Tiago. After one last examination in Schoeneicher, they were loaded into the specially made transport boxes bound for the Berlin airport. This unique project and the cooperation with Brazil is also important for the German government. Federal Environment Minister Barbara Hendricks personally came to bid the Spix macaws farewell. The Spix macaw has a great and also symbolic significance in Brazil. This is why we are collaborating with an important Brazilian institute there. And here, this work is being done by a small non-profit organization, and we are grateful for what they're doing. If you look at what they've accomplished, they must be excellent breeders. When they arrive in Brazil, both Spix macaws will be transferred to the Brazilian authorities. They are going to the quarantine and they stay there for 15 days and after this to the facility that is uh, part of the captive program. And we have the plans to release them until 2021. However, before a Spix macaw can be reintroduced into the wild, a safety population must be bred. As soon as there are enough birds, they will then be released into their natural habitat in about five or six years. The Brazilian government and the ACTP are working hand in hand to achieve this. The ACTP is a very important partner, uh, has very important knowledge developed about the breeding and to keep the, the animals. Uh, and our relationship is very good. We are sharing a lot of knowledge. ACTP is assisting very much the product, not only with the knowledge, but uh, financing some activity, uh, activity fields. Back in Germany, where Carla and Tiago were hatched. At a significant financial and time cost, the ACTP managed to raise another four Spix macaw chicks in 2015. After spending at least one year in Schoeneicher, some of the birds will be sent to Brazil. The ACTP and its partners have already been able to achieve many major successes. But this is only the beginning. To continue safeguarding the protection of threatened species such as the Spix macaw, 
Organisations like the ACTP are in urgent need of your support and donations. Your donations can help ensure that the birds will one day be a reality in the wild again.